Hi everyone, this is Jennifer Rowan, Psychic Medium, and this is the monthly tarot reading for the water signs, which are Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer for the month of October 2020. And this month we have a harvest full moon on October 1st. October 13th is the beginning of Mercury retrograde. However, we are already in the shadow period, so it's not a good time to sign any contracts, make large purchases, and to avoid buying things such as cell phones or electronics. Also, this can be a delay with your plans or work projects. So keep that in mind as you're moving ahead this month and realize that things may just be a little bit slow moving, but sometimes this is actually good because we have a chance to make things better with projects or if we're starting a new business, this can actually help us so that if we've missed anything before, we can go back and actually do this better and make an improvement. Also, we have the new moon in Libra on October 16th and a full moon in Taurus on October 31st. So this is going to be probably a challenging month for most of us uh, due to the different alignments that are taking place. We have Mars that's in retrograde. We have Mercury in retrograde. And there are going to be a lot of squares this month. So just take your time with everything this month. You may have some emotional ups and downs as well. And meditation would be a good way to deal with things this month if you are going through some struggles, conflict, or your emotions or up and down. So I just wanted to uh, leave you with that information and let's get started with your reading. The first card that we have is from the Crystals Angels deck. And this card is focusing on the Crystal Sugar Light. And this says, own your divine power. Replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness, and empowerment. And what this is saying is this is a card of empowerment and it signifies a time when you've been giving your power away to others or worrying about people's opinions of yourself. And what you'll need to do is if you're in this situation to set your boundaries with people and not being afraid to say no to people's requests for your time, money, or other things. Being assertive helps you to honor and follow your inner guidance, which will give you harmony and also better health in your life. So don't be afraid to say no this month if you feel that things are taking up too much of your time and your energy because you are important too and you deserve to have time for yourself and to do the things that you want to do as well. And the next card that we have is from the Ancestors and Angels card deck. And this card that was picked is Druid, Hold the Space. And with this card, it is saying that it's a time of holding things together and not to make any sudden moves or big changes this month. Again, we are going through the retrograde period, so it is a time to slow down and take your time with things and a time for review. Also, stand strong and know you are where you're supposed to be right now. This is a time for you to let go and trusting that spirit will guide you by the hand instead of focusing on the negative. Don't change your plans, be patient, even in times of fear and anxiety, and just trust in the process and allow things to happen as it needs to. And the message that I'm hearing for you is you are much stronger than you know. So whether it's about not making big changes right now and taking a lot of action, or also for setting your boundaries this month, that you will have the strength to do the things that you need to do and to let go of the people 
and things around you that you need to let go of. And the next card that we have is we're now getting to the tarot cards. And the theme of this month is, and this is from the John Holland deck, this is the Solitude card, which also is the Hermit card. This is showing me that some of the water signs are going to be going through a time where you need to take a break and spend some time in meditation. And there are things that you will need to focus on and you're going to need to spend some time alone so that you can listen to your soul. And you are looking for answers this month for something. And the only way that you're gonna hear the answers is being in a quiet space. Because if we're always doing and we're always running around, the answers aren't going to always come to us. So this is a time where you will need to spend some time alone and be away from the outside world so that you can get those answers that you need. And this is also going to help you to create balance in your life. And the next card that we have is for around the first week of October. And this card says sacrifice, but this is actually the hanged man card. And what I'm saying is that this is also a time of letting go and to spend some time in the present moment. Maybe you're at a crossroads with something this month or you don't know which way to go. And so this is the time to take a pause so that you are able to make these decisions more clearly and with confidence. You may feel stuck right now and you keep getting into your head. And by taking time to do meditation, again, it will help you to gain focus and clarity. Now, sometimes this is also a time where there are going to be delays with things that you're working on, but know that this is just a temporary period and a reason for pause. Let go of the things that aren't working for you. And most times we find what we're looking for when we let go and we're not continuing to analyze or focus on things. Sometimes with this card too, uh, this can be a card of imbalance or somebody having trouble with their legs as well. So there might be somebody here that has some type of foot injury. Uh, you may be experiencing vertigo this month. So make sure that you are taking care of yourself and getting your rest. And also uh, one thing that I just heard from my angels is that some of you may be changing the locks on your door this month, or you may be getting a new door this month as well. This could also signify new doors that are opening for some of you this month as well. So I just wanted to uh, mention that to you before I forgot here. And this next card that we have, which is around the second week of the month, and unfortunately, I'm sorry to say this, but this is the Three of Swords or the Heartache and Loss card. And so for some of you, this may be a period where you are going through some sadness. You may be experiencing some type of loss. Maybe there is someone that passed around you or possibly you even lost a pet such as a cat or a dog. Also, uh, some of you may be having some issues in your relationship this month, especially with these retrogrades going on and Mars retrograde uh, that's going on this week and next week. There's a lot of intense energy. So, you know, make sure that if you are having issues in your relationship, that after you have taken some space, that you just sit down and try to communicate clearly with each other or wait until there's a better time when both of you have a better frame of mind. I feel like there may be a lot of ups and downs over the next few weeks with people. So, you know, if you need to step back a little bit from the relationship so that you give things a chance to improve or you each have a chance to think on some things, it's always better 
than to rush and do things, you know, quickly because that's not going to resolve anything. Also, I sometimes I see this card as somebody around you that may have some type of heart surgery or they're having some heart problems. So if you know somebody that's going through these difficulties, I want to say that I am sorry to hear this, but this could be something that's coming up this month with some kind of health issue. Also, this could be some type of conflict or betrayal around you. Somebody's being dishonest. So again, you really want to take your time so that you can make good decisions here with the information that you may be hearing or if you're going through some type of emotional loss, you're giving yourself some time to just go through the grief. And the next card that we have here is for around the third week of October. And this card is the Trapped in Fear card. And what this is saying is, this is, first of all, it's the Eight of Swords. And so what I see around this week is that there may you may be feeling overwhelmed right now. You may feel like there's a lot of pressure around you and you keep getting into your head. The thoughts just keep reoccurring and you're causing yourself a lot of anxiety. And so uh, what I see with this is that if you just change your thoughts and try to think positive and not focus on the negative thoughts that you're having, you can definitely change the outcome of things and also you can have a better perspective of things. This is also gonna help you so that you do not feel so isolated and feel so overwhelmed. So during this time where you, have, where you may have this loss, and also after you go through the loss and you're dealing with your emotions or anxiety or fear, whether it's caused from the loss or other things that are happening in your life, just know that you can ask for help if you feel like you can't get through this. There's always people that you can ask for help for counselors, friends, or family. And just know that things are going to improve by the end of the month or November. Now, I want to say that for the fourth week of the month, the Six of Wands or victory and success is coming your way. So for some of you, you have been uh, working really hard, whether this is a project or this is a business, uh, whatever it is that you've been working on, you're going to be recognized for your work and I do see victory with this. It's also a time of moving forward and for you to keep pushing forward and to keep working hard. Just because you receive one victory doesn't mean that you can't experience another victory in the future. What I also see with this is that this could be a possible promotion that's coming up. And also you may be getting some type of increase with that as well. And this could be a time where you're getting a leadership position or people come to you as a leader. And whenever they need guidance, they ask for your help. After all, you've been doing this for a while, so you have a lot of experience. And so I feel that you will have more people coming to you for things and you will get the support that you need. It also shows me that you're going to have a lot of confidence this month as well and confidence from just the things that you've been doing and the growth that you have achieved. So thank you, Water Signs, for joining me during this reading this month and there are some things this month that may be a little bit difficult but what i'm happy to see is by the end of the month by you taking the time to process things also to work through your emotions and to think positive thoughts you can get to this victory even if this doesn't have to do with your work you can even achieve a victory where you're getting over a tough time and just know that angels and your departed loved ones in spirit are always working with you and giving you the support that you need just because they're not here in the physical doesn't mean that they're not helping you but we also have to pay attention to their sign and their signs and their nudges and once we do that 
then you will see that things can be a whole lot better. So thanks again. And for anybody that has been visiting my channel, whether you are new to my channel or someone that has been following me over the past year, this, this month will actually be my first year anniversary on YouTube. And I have to say that I have been learning a lot, but I still have a lot more to learn here. And so I want to thank all of you for your support. And if you are new, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if any of this made sense to you this month, please feel free to leave your comment and hit that notification bell and you will be notified whenever a new video comes out. So take care. I hope you have a happy Halloween and a great month of October.